In 1991, astronauts of NASA's mission saw something that terrified them for years, and it was hidden from the public. In 1997, in Phoenix, people saw something in the sky that shocked the world. In 2005, for the first time ever, NASA was able to detect a UFO with the help of a high-resolution camera. And in 2021, the U.S. Navy captured videos of the most controversial extraterrestrial sightings in history. Today, we'll analyze these UFO sightings, so let's start from the very first one that happened in 1991. So, on September 15, 1991, a camera aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery captured footage of several objects moving in lower Earth orbit. These objects appeared as small, bright dots exhibiting peculiar, nonlinear patterns that defined explanation by known physical laws. One particular object drew attention as it suddenly changed direction, seemingly in response to a flash of light. This unusual movement fueled speculations that the objects might be intelligently controlled and potentially of extraterrestrial origin. Proponents of the extraterrestrial hypothesis argue that the observed movements in the footage don't match any known natural phenomena or human-made space debris. They believe the abrupt change in direction strongly suggests intelligent manipulation. On the other hand, skeptics offered alternative explanations. Initially, NASA officials suggested that the objects could be ice particles disturbed by the shuttle's thrusters, with the flash being the result of thruster fire. This explanation found support from various scientists, who reasoned that the erratic movements could be attributed to thruster effects or nearby objects in a microgravity environment. Critics of this explanation contend that the object's behavior appears inconsistent with typical ice particle movement. Nevertheless, the prevailing scientific consensus leans toward the ice particle explanation. In response, some UFO proponents accuse NASA and the scientific community of a cover-up, further deepening the ongoing debate. With that, the enigmatic Phoenix Lights, witnessed on March 13, 1997, represent one of the most captivating mass UFO sightings in the annals of contemporary ufology. Occurring over the skies of Phoenix, Arizona and parts of Sonora, Mexico, this event ignited a global debate on the existence of unidentified flying objects, maintaining its allure decades after the event. The event took place on a clear night when hundreds of residents, including pilots, police officers, and military personnel, reported seeing a V-shaped constellation of lights traversing the Arizona skies. Witnesses claimed the objects were immense, even as large as several football fields, and maintained a fixed formation as they moved slowly and silently across the sky for several hours. Some observers report the lights to be distinctly separate, while others saw them connected, implying the presence of an immense singular craft. The unusual silence during the passage of these objects, despite their apparent size, further deepened the mystery. The sightings were recorded from different locations, ranging from as far north as Las Vegas, Nevada, to as far south as Tucson, Arizona, demonstrating the extensive geographical span of this occurrence. Immediate reactions to the Phoenix lights were diverse and polarized. Many perceived it as concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life, while skeptics sought to explain it in terrestrial terms. The U.S. Air Force initially remained silent on the matter, only later attributing the phenomenon to flares dropped by A-10 Warthog aircraft during a training exercise at the Barry Goldwater Range. Additionally, the STS-114 mission of the Space Shuttle Discovery in July 2005 marked a thrilling moment in space exploration, featuring unique scientific experiments hardware testing, and resupplying the International Space Station. However, it gained lasting significance in space history, not only for its operational objectives, but also for the unexpected event of unexplained falling objects, an incident commonly referred to as the STS-114 UFO incident. This occurrence sparked a flurry of speculation and curiosity among enthusiasts and researchers, prompting NASA to conduct a thorough investigation. On July 26, 2005, the Space Shuttle Discovery launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida, as the first mission after the tragic Columbia disaster in 2003. The primary purpose of the mission was to assess new safety procedures implemented following the Columbia incident. As Discovery ascended into space, observers were taken aback when objects were observed falling from the shuttle during launch. These falling objects, captured on NASA's high-res cameras, immediately raised concerns about the safety of the crew and the mission's success. The memory of the Columbia disaster, caused by falling foam insulation that damaged the thermal protection system, was still fresh in people's minds. 
In response, NASA promptly launched an investigation to determine the nature and potential threat posed by these falling objects, leading to an unplanned and detailed inspection of the orbiter for possible damage. During the initial stage of NASA's investigation, a thorough examination of the launch footage indicated that the falling objects were likely pieces of foam insulation from the external tank, the same issue that had caused the Columbia disaster. However, in this case, the debris did not appear to strike the orbiter. Further inspection of the shuttle in orbit using the newly installed orbiter boom sensor system revealed no significant damage. It was determined that the foam had shed too late into the ascent after 2 minutes and 15 seconds to pose a significant threat to the orbiter due to the thinner atmosphere at that altitude and the resulting lower impact force. The incident was initially associated with the term UFO due to the uncertainty surrounding the origin and nature of the falling objects. The anomaly was evident in the launch video, leading some speculators to speculate extraterrestrial involvement. This speculation gained momentum when on August 2nd, the crew reported sighting an unknown object floating beneath the spacecraft. Also, the 2015 GoFast video, which captured a fast-moving unidentified object in the sky, has fueled this debate significantly. The video was taken by a highly trained and experienced commercial airline pilot, heightening its credibility and adding a layer of professional legitimacy to the footage. The incident occurred during a regular flight under conditions that the pilot was well accustomed to, which further emphasizes the unusual nature of the sighting. The focal point of the video is a small, oblong object seen skimming over the ocean surface. Its color contrasts sharply with the surrounding environment, appearing as a stark white against the darker backdrop of the ocean and sky, creating a vivid image in the viewer's mind. It doesn't resemble a conventional aircraft. There are no wings, no tail, and no visible means of propulsion. The object's shape, speed, and behavior in the sky are unlike any known aircraft, contributing to the mystery and fascination surrounding the footage. Perhaps most strikingly, the object was reported to be moving at an incredible speed, over 800 miles an hour. The estimate was made using the jet's advanced tracking systems, which are designed to accurately determine the speed of other aircraft for safety purposes. The speed itself is extraordinary, faster than most military jets at cruising altitude, let alone near the ocean's surface where the atmospheric density would make such speed more challenging to achieve. However, even more astonishing than its remarkable speed was the object's ability to change direction instantaneously. One moment, it appears to be following a linear path. The next, it abruptly changes course without any discernible deceleration or acceleration period. This maneuverability is unlike anything seen in conventional or even advanced military aircraft, which require considerable distances to change direction at high speeds. The aspect has added a whole new dimension to the intrigue surrounding the GoFast video, as it seems to demonstrate an understanding of physics and technology far beyond what we currently possess. Moreover, the USS Wilson encounter was a UFO sighting by Navy sailors aboard the USS Wilson in the Atlantic Ocean on January 20th, 2021. The sailors reported seeing a strange object that was reportedly hovering over the water. The object was described as being disc-shaped and about the size of a car. It was silent and didn't appear to be moving. The sailors watched the object for about 10 minutes before it disappeared. The sailors who reported the USS Wilson encounter were on duty in the ship's radar room when they saw the object. They said it was unlike anything they'd ever seen before. The object wasn't moving and it didn't appear to be reflecting any radar waves. The sailors alerted the ship's captain, who ordered the ship to change course so that they could get a better look at the object. However, when the ship got closer, the object disappeared. The Navy hasn't released any official statements about the USS Wilson encounter. However, some experts believe that the object may have been a drone or a weather balloon. Others believe that it may have been something more exotic, such as a UFO. The Navy's acknowledged that these UFO sightings are real, but they've not been able to explain what they are. This has led to speculation that the objects may be of extraterrestrial origin. And it's important to note that Carl Sagan and Jill Tarter are renowned astronomers who, through their combined efforts, founded the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute. The organization's been dedicated to finding scientific evidence of life beyond Earth. The SETI Institute was founded in 1984 with a mission to explore, understand, and explain the origin and nature of life in the universe and the evolution of intelligence. Both Sagan and Tartar were instrumental in its creation. The establishment of the Institute represented their shared belief in the importance of a systematic, scientific approach to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. 
They both believe that despite the high degree of uncertainty associated with such a search, its potential implications for our understanding of our place in the universe justified the effort. The SETI Institute's methodology involves using ground and space-based telescopes to search for narrow bandwidth radio signals from space. Such signals aren't known to occur naturally, so detection of such a signal could indicate technological activity by extraterrestrial life. The most significant project, the Allen Telescope Array, started in 2007 and was a major effort to construct a massive distributed network of radio telescopes dedicated to the search. The SETI Institute has made significant contributions to astronomy and astrophysics. In particular, the techniques developed for signal detection and processing have found widespread use in other areas of astronomy. Moreover, the Institute's work has sparked interest in astrobiology and the conditions required for life to exist, leading to significant advancements in space. It's interesting to point out that in a 2022 interview with Fox News, Elon Musk said, A lot of people ask me, you know, where are the aliens? And I think if anyone would know about aliens on Earth, it would probably be me. Yeah, I'm, you know, very familiar with space stuff, and I've seen no evidence of aliens. However, he also said that he believes the universe is so vast that it's unlikely that Earth's the only planet with intelligent life. In a 2020 interview with Joe Rogan, Musk said, I think there must be a lot of aliens out there. The universe is so big that it'd be statistically very unlikely that we're the only ones. Musk also said that he believes aliens would be more advanced than humans. In a 2017 interview with the New York Times, he said, If there are aliens out there, they're probably way ahead of us. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.